So boys, today, if you don't know, as the stream says, we are beating Pokemon Black and White 2 specifically as Nintendo intended. And you're probably gonna be wondering, huh, what do you mean as Nintendo intended, right? That doesn't make any sense. You're just, just play the game and the game will kind of tell you what to go, right? But if you grew up in the era where these were a little more common strategy guides. So this is the Pokemon Black and White 2 Nintendo approved strategy guide. Before we start this challenge, let's clarify some rules. If a team wipes, I must reset to the beginning. Catching only the Pokemon the guidebook tells me to catch for the upcoming gym fight. And as a minimum, I need to level up the recommended Pokemon to the gym leader's highest Pokemon. All right, fun fact. Fun fact, I just, I just found this out like last night out of pure coincidence. This Mencino you see right here on the screen where my mouse is pointing at, that can be a shiny on the introduction screen. It, it is the full, the full shiny rate, one out of 8,192, but it, it could actually be a fucking shiny, this thing right here. This is one of the unobtainable shinies. We started the journey by naming our rival Jordan, based on the viewer from my Twitch chat. We're gonna name it after Jordan so we can beat his ass every time we do a, a rival battle. You're about to get read like a book, Jordan. Your your secrets, your deepest inner, inner secrets, it's all in this book right here. You're about to lose. <sighs> Gen 5 music. Hold on, let me just appreciate it a little bit. Let me just appreciate it. Okay, way to ruin it. Okay. Technology. I'm assuming this Darumaka is a Babushka Darumaka, and that's the Ferris wheel. The iconic scene from uh, Pokemon Black and White where you are on the Ferris wheel with N, and he's talking about philosophy and the existence of Pokemon and like all this knowledge, and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, why is he spewing all this nonsense? I'm just trying to get the lead four. <laughs> After a bunch of dialogue, we pulled from my starter, which was a landslide victory for Oshawott. We decided to name Oshawott Oshawott, named after our number one mod, Osh. They jip you and give you seven characters as a trainer, but Pokemon gets like, what, 10? 10 slots? What's this unfair character value? After taming the Oshawott, I had my rival battle with Jordan. It was a very easy sweep. Then later on in the story, I fought him for the second time. I think I'm gonna lose. I kind of came to this battle a little underprepared. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's fucking go! Eat shit, Jordan! Your doo doo dog doo doo trash couldn't even beat me! How? How did you not beat me? Bro, I, handic I handicapped myself so fucking hard! Oh my god, I almost, I almost had to reset the game. Holy shit, I just thought about that. Oh my god. I gotta make sure you're level 8. I swear you, you're supposed to. Snivy's supposed to learn Vine Whip at level eight, right? No, you learned you learned Vine Whip at level seven. <sighs> Vanilla Pokemon games. Our first big challenge was we needed to catch a Riolu for the fight with Sharon, a normal type gym leader. The question is, <gasps> oh, Riolu! Oh, we found one! Holy shit! The strategy guy didn't lie. The strategy guy didn't lie. Yo, we got a Riolu! After taming gold the Riolu, our goal was to get it to level 15 for Force Palm. Yes! Force Palm! After acquiring Force Palm, it was time to challenge the first gym. Sharon's team consisted of a level 11 Pat Rat and a level 13 Lil Pup. Bam, one shot. Woo! With a crit? Easy clap. Okay, this might not be a one shot unless I crit back to back. Never mind. Gold to God. The guide never fails. Our next destination is Verbank City. This city has a second gym leader, Roxy, who uses poison types. The guide recommended that I acquire a Magnemite. Nice. Roxy's team consisted of a level 16 coughing and a level 18 Whirlipede. Honestly, at this level, I missed. You, ca I can't expect them to have more than 40. So most of it should be a two shot, unless the Whirlipede has more than 40 HP, possibly. Okay, so it barely, it has like, it's like 42 or 43 HP, seems like. 
Second gym completed. On to the next town, Castile City, for the third gym leader, which the book recommended I should obtain a Zubat for. Luckily, the portion where I obtained the Zubat is also a story area that makes me pair up with my rival, therefore I have unlimited free heals and a perfect place to train my Zubat up to level 24 for the gym fight. During the long, gruesome training of Nemec the Zubat, Oshawott has evolved into a Duat. After getting Nemec into fighting form, we headed for the gym. Berg's team consists of a level 22 Swadloon, Dwebble, and a level 24 Levani. Feel pretty confident? Feel pretty confident? Mm-hmm. Easy clap. Oh, quick claw. Oh, quick claw. Still can't beat Hyper Potion. That's nice. I'm pretty confident I'm faster. And I'm probably one shot. Easy clap. Absolute easy clap. Thank you for the third badge. After the victory against the third gym leader, the next location we needed to go to was the Mbasa City, where Elisa, the electric gym leader, resided. The book recommended that I either catch a Sandshrew or a Sandile for the fight, but based on future potential and Moxie, I went with Alex the Sandile. Perfect. We got it. Elisa's team consisted of a level 28 Emolga, Flappy, and a level 30 Zep Striker. Alex, show us how it's done, okay? Woo! Let's go, Alex. Let's fucking go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, let's go. Quick Claw Dig. This Quick Claw is so fucking amazing, man. I'm so glad we got this early in the game. Ah, uh, easy clap. Congrats, Alex. Being absolutely filthy in this game. On to the next gym, which was located in Driftville City. The guide recommended I should catch a ducklet. So along the way to the bridge, we caught the Fool's Fate, the ducklet. It's okay, Rain Dance Boosted Stab Bubble Beam. Didn't really do much. Oh, God. Let's go. All according to plan. I just, you know, slid a bit of Pokey Dollar under the table. Old man said, I bet I won't kill him. And following suit, we leveled him up to level 33. The gym leader for Driftfell City, Clay's team consisted of a level 33 Kurokurok, a level 31 Sandslash, and a level 33 Excadrill. Out of all my gym fights I had so far, Clay was the most difficult. Easy clap. Uh oh. Gym fight. Survive! What the fuck, dude? I'm about to get swept. I'm low key about to get fucking swept. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Holy shit, a level 23 did that much damage to a level 33? Show everybody how it's done. He flinched. Okay, don't show everybody how to flinch. Alex, you were fucking useless. This extra Joe low key is fucking me up right now. Oh god. This isn't good at all. Live, come on. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my fucking boy. Let's fucking go. You just saved us from a team wipe. And if we got a team wipe, that means I, I would have had to restart the whole goddamn game. We're gonna flinch him, confuse him to death. Cool, a flinch, let's go. Oh, go back to back flinch. One more. One more for Jesus. One more for Jesus. One more. It don't even fucking matter because he's fucking dead. Oh my God. Let's fucking go. Eat shit, Clay. Eat shit. Just taking the badge for a little bit. Just take it in. Because we could have lost here. We could have fucking lost here. After beating the fifth gym, we participated in the Drift Belt Tournament. First round was Jordan, and the Fool's Fate alone decimated his team. Second round was Sharon, and just like Jordan, the Fool's Fate soloed his team. And third and final round was Colress, Alex, Oko, the Magneton, Elgium, and Clink. After the tournament victory, I proceeded to Mistralin City for the sixth gym. The book recommended I acquire a Joltik or a Boulder, because Skyla's team consisted of a level 37 Subat, Skarmory, and Swanna. Lucky for me, there happened to be an in-game trade before the gym fight where I could trade a Nemoga for a Gigalith. After a long consideration with chat, we agreed that the Gigalith from the in-game trade was a fair trade for the challenge. Bye, Emolga. <sighs> G 
Gigalith. Let's go. After receiving the Gigalith, we headed for Skyla. Ooh, quick claw. Let's go. Easy. Ooh, juicy crit. Absolutely juicy crit. I got one more crit. Oh. But no, I can get the double paralysis, though. Can I get a triple paralysis? For, for Jesus? Oh, let's go! Triple for Jesus! Let's go. Easy. Now, the quadruple for Jesus is, is if I can get the quick claw rock slide. Now that would cement the Pokemon Bible Jesus to the top. Nope. But he should still die, though. Yep. I gotta say, I made... Sorry, not I. We. We as a group has made a hell of a progress today, actually. After the victory, we went to Undela Town, where I ran into my rival and almost... Oh my goodness, that did so much damage. Am I faster than you? Of course not. Superior has good speed. Base speed. Oh, jeez. Am I gonna lose? Please don't do a lot. Please don't do a lot. Ooh, that did so much damage. Oh, fudge. I'm so fudged. My only chance is that if I pull out the revive, if I have a revive, if I don't, then I'm... I could be screwed. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh-oh. I don't have a revive. Not having a revive wasn't the worst part. All the remaining Pokemon in my team were weak to grass types. And Jordan's buffed superior would have most likely one to two shot everyone, causing me to lose and reset the run. Survive, 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 survive. Let's go. Please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill. Fuck yes! Let's go, Death. Absolute clutch master with the crit. Oh my god, I was about to lose that. I if I didn't kill him there and I lost Death, I would have got swept. The seventh gym didn't have any recommendations, so we used what we had and taught Lucario Dragon Pulse. While heading towards the seventh gym, we ran across Verizion, the recommended Pokemon for the eighth gym leader. We decided to catch it right away, so we Master Balled it. The seventh gym leader, Drayden, had a level 46 Duridagon, Flygon, and a level 48 Haxorus. Ooh, let's go. Easy clap. Keep sending him in. Just keep on coming. Oh, he's faster than me. Please live, Lucario. Please live. That's my boy gold. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so sure Haxorus is going to be faster than me. But we're, we're going to take the risk anyway. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He dd It's all good. It's all good. Most likely he's going to potion this turn. Oh, what is he? Fucking chest? No, what is it? Citrus berry? Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm faster! Did he dragon tail like an idiot? He must have dragon tailed. Absolute sweep. Easy. What'd you guys think? Easy clap. After defeating the seventh gym leader, we headed towards Humala City for the eighth and final gym fight. Marlin, the final gym leader of this journey, had a level 49 Caracosta, Waylord, and a level 51 Jellicent. Ooh, we're fine, we're fine. Nice. What an idiot. Now I'm plus three attack. Why would you do something like that? Pretty confident I can one shot this Waylord with Sacred Sword plus three. What? 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 I am flabbergasted. Plus three attack, stab, Sacred Sword. Wasn't able to kill Waylord. That's just. Wow. I mean, I know Waylord has a lot of HP, but still, lost 
Loss of words. Lost for words. And that killed me. We did it, everybody. We have beaten all eight gyms. Now the only thing left is... I have to go through the excruciating story with White Zekrom and White Reshiram and White Kiram, whatever they're called. It's so long. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. There's so much to cover here. Ridiculous. After the 8th gen leader, there were a whole bunch of Team Plasma stuff which led us to White Kiram. Uh-oh. What is this fucking cell? Is he trying to become perfect cell? Perfect Kiram? Well, too bad it has to die. The strategy guide told me to kill it. I almost one shot it. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> sweet dreams, Prince. Sweet, sweet dream. That was a huge fucking disappointment. All of that cutscene for a two turn faint. The cutscene was longer than the fucking fight. After beating the White Kirim, it was time for the fight with Getsis. Yo, this guy kind of trifling. Toxic, protect, stop. What? He's toxic stalling me. I thought this was fucking vanilla. Vanilla Pokemon. What's going on? Am I playing a ROM hack? Oh shit, it knows acrobatic? Holy shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that either. <sighs> he still has a Toxicroak and a Hydreigon. Toxicroak should be easy for me. Unless he has Sucker Punch and he Sucker Punch crits me. Then uh, I don't know at that point. Oh, nope. Never mind. He's dead. Now I'm very, very sure that Hydreigon is faster than me. What it would possibly use against me, I don't know. Oh, fuck, I levitate. I forgot. Uh-oh. Wow. Rookie fucking mistake. It has life orb. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Did I, did I miss the memo of... Bringing in life orbs, leftovers, choice scarf, choice band... That does so much damage. Holy shit, dude. How are you not dead? Oh! Oh my god. Thank you for missing. Thank you for not being a 100% accuracy move. Holy shit, that was... The actual most... Difficult fight of the of the game after the team plasma and Kirim situation It was time for the elite four So I blazed through the victory road and arrived at the elite four the team I'm taking into the fight is Alex the crocodile Osh the Oshawott, Gold the Lucario, Death the Magnezone, Nemec the Crobat, and LMB the Verision. The first elite four we fought is Chantel Chantel is the ghost elite four team consists of a level 56 Kofagrius, Driftblim, Golurk, and a level 58 Chandelure Alex takes down the Cafagrius but gets damaged, so Oshawa comes in and had a close call with Chandelure. Death deals with the Drift Bloom, and finally LMB finishes Golurk. Next, Grimsley, the Dark Elite for it with the level 56 Leopard, Scrafty, Crocodile, and a level 58 Bisharp. Gold Oko's Leopard and gets outsped by Crocodile. Osh deals with Crocodile, Nemec takes care of Scrafty, and Alex finishes the Bisharp. Next is Caitlyn, the second Elite for it, with a level 56 Musharna, Reuniclus, Sigilith, and a level 58 Gothitella. Alex leads and beat Reuniclus and Sigilith, but couldn't Oko the Gothalith with a plus two foul play. LMB finishes it off, and lastly, Death beats the Musharna for the win. And now for the final Elite Four before the champion, Marshall. 
with the level 56 throw, Sock, Manchow, and level 58 Conqueror. Nemec leads the battle and beats the throw, Conqueror, Saw, and finally the Manchow for the win. Now that we have finally beaten all the Elite Four, all we have to do is beat Champion Iris. Iris' team consists of a level 76 Hydreigon, Doritagon, Archaeops, Agron, Lapras, and a level 78 Haxorus. We're going with the old classic. There's not a lot of things Hydreigon can do to me. I could I could play a risky and work up. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. Live gold. Let's fucking go. Please kill. I'm gonna see what kind of damage I can do with Alex. Alright, here we go. Moxie plus one attack. <sighs> wow. That was really good. I, I should survive. There's no way. Really? Wow. I'm so sure Frizion can survive an ice beam or two. Yep. As long as it doesn't fucking freeze. Archaeops. Interesting. Interesting. I think it's time for death. I'm feeling pretty good about this right now. Shit. I can survive it. He's bulky. He's bulky. Easy clap. Easy fucking clap. So the only thing left is the Agron and the Haxorus. So I'm gonna need to take this chance to max survive Lucario. All right, here we go. Final battle. He's faster than me. Shit. Please live. Come on, Gold, you got this. Fuck. All right, I know I'm gonna be faster. I'm gonna toxic him. He's gonna full restore. That's fine. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. This is this is bad. <sighs> Please be faster. Oh yes, he missed! Come on, miss one more time. One more time! Fuck. Please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill. I think we got it. If it doesn't crit, I think we got it. It's okay. He's dying to poison. Easy clap. Easy fucking clap. Oh, we didn't even need gold. Now it carried. It's finally over. We're done. We finally, we finally beat white two on my first try. Thank you, strategy guide for taking me to victory. We beat Pokemon Y2 as Nintendo intended us to, using the strategy guide. With this challenge completed, I can proudly say that strategy guides are fantastic. I finally beaten Pokemon Y2. And lastly, make sure you subscribe and follow me on my Twitch and my YouTube and my Instagram and my TikTok and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll be bringing out more stuff later in the future. I hope you stick around for more content.